If for you know the unlikely event of a face-to-face -face encounter, don't turn and run away. Keep your eyes on it. Back away. A black bear was spotted just this morning in southeast Boise. Idaho Fish and Game says a two-year-old black bear was last seen around noon in the area near the New York Canal north of Surprise Way. Boise periodically has black bears that move through the area, but Fish and Game says it is unusual for a bear to come into the city looking for food this time of year, given the ample forage available. Typically, they're seen in the fall. Well, and this hasn't been the only wildlife sighting. There was a reported coyote attack this week in the Boise foothills. A pack of coyotes reportedly attacked a dog that was off leash in the Holes Gulch and Military Reserve areas. So I guess that raises the question, what should you do if you happen to come face to face with wildlife? Joey is live from Hulls Gulch. Joey, what did you find out as you looked into this today? Well, Dean Kim, when it comes to wildlife, Idaho Fish and Game told me really the best thing you can do is simply give that animal the space that it needs. They also did tell me that wildlife attacks on humans are pretty rare. Now, if you're in this area, you want to go out hiking uh, with your dog, they say the best thing to do is just make sure your dog is under control nearby just in case a coyote does cross your path. The Holes Gulch area is a popular place to go on a hike or mountain bike ride. We're actually on a trip from California and we're here uh, checking out the local trails. There are plenty of hikers and plenty of people with their dogs. German Shepherd Husky Mix. This is Ainsley Bowen and her dog, Trapper. I just came out here to go for a trail run. I'm a teacher, so I have the summer off now. And, and she hadn't heard of the coyote pack who attacked a dog off leash on Tuesday. I see the foothills as pretty safe. I'm kind of surprised there was yeah. a coyote attack. Fish and Game says here's what you should do if you or your pet comes across one. Be able to have those animals under those dogs under control. You know, get them to call back to you or if you can't keep them on a leash and then that's probably not going to occur. And we also asked Ainsley what she would do on her hike if she saw a coyote. If we saw one up the trail then we'd probably just stop and have him sit and try to stay calm and just watch and see how the coyote responds. Almost exactly what Fish and Game said to do. Yes, I'm a pro. <laughs> All right. As for a bear sighting in Southeast Boise, you want to do something similar. Well, the obvious thing is just keep their distance. Don't don't approach it in any way. See what it's doing. And remember to not scare the bear either. Key thing is don't run and don't approach it in any way. Now, Fish and Game also told me today that mountain lions can be spotted in Boise. They told me that if you do come across those, you do want to make loud noises, make yourself appear as large as possible, and be prepared to fight it if it does get to that point. Now, as far as that bear goes, Fish and Game does say that it appears that the bear is maybe moving back into those unpopulated areas, maybe closer to the foothills, and if it continues going that way, then they're just going to let it be as it wanders back into its natural habitat. But if it does get closer to homes, closer to people, then they will have to trim tranquilize it and then move it themselves. They're asking the public to report any sightings of that bear back to them. Back to you oh, guys. Good, good. And don't feed the bears. Yes. <laughs> don't don't encourage any of that at all. But yeah. Joey,